We have a large LCD display. We have the calibration button, the confirm button. When we're in manual temperature compensation mode, we have the Celsius buttons up and down. We have the range button, which will display pH and millivolt. A memory button to store the last reading. And a memory recall button to pull up the last reading. If we turn the unit around, we have the on-off switch, the 12 volt DC adapter, the temperature probe connector, a BNC connector for the pH electrode, and if we're using half cells, we'll use the uh, BNC connector here for the pH electrode, and this one for the reference electrode. Underneath, we have two screw holes for the mounting bracket for the pH probe holder. Now, I'd like to turn this unit on for you. We've connected the probes to the meter. We're ready to turn the unit on. At the moment, we're in manual temperature compensation mode. You can see the flashing C. In this mode, we can increase or decrease the temperature as necessary. When we connect the uh, temperature probe, it automatically turns to automatic temperature compensation and the C is no longer flashing. The range button will allow us to see it in pH or millivolt using the pH electrode. We can also use an optional ORP electrode. The memory button stores the reading and the memory recall button pulls up the last reading stored. At the moment we're conditioning our electrode in storage solution. We recommend up to at least two hours. If you do not have any storage solution, you can use any one of our buffers. Now we're ready to calibrate. We remove our probes from the storage solution. We rinse them off with deionized water and place them in pH 7 buffer. We remove the refill cap. This creates positive head pressure and allows the electrolyte to flow through the junction creating a faster response time. We hit the cow button and we turn on the magnetic stir. Now that the reading is stabilized, CFM is displayed and we hit the CFM button. This now prompts us for pH 4. We can also use pH 9 or 10. In this case, we are measuring a sample in the acidic range and we'll use pH 4. Turn off the stirrer. We rinse our probes again with deionized water. Place the probes in pH 4 buffer and start to stir. CFM is displayed. Press the button and now we're ready to measure.